All right, I got some real Frankenstein crap here. What does that mean? I saw this in like four or five places yesterday. I don't know where this story came from. I don't know where uh, this got picked up from. But (laughs) here's one of the headlines. World's first head transplant system has been revealed. Oh, great. And they have like this... Entire head? They have this image of two... You remember the movie Face Off? Was oh, that, yeah, it was, was Nicolas Cage and, and John, John Travolta. Travolta. Yeah, yeah, Face Off. Remember the, the scene, weren't they side by side where they were transferring the faces, right? So that's what this reminded me of. Uh, all right, let me, let me read part of this. Stop reading if you're squeamish, but the world's first head transplant system has been unveiled with hopes to start operating within eight years where they could take your head and just put it on a whole other body. Oh, let me mm. think about whose body I would want. Well, that's where I was headed. <laughs> headed. <laughs> that's where I was headed. I was thinking about grabbing some calls on this. I would want my head on an old body like, uh, you know, Al Pacino or something. <laughs> Put it on his body. <laughs> would you? Uh, first of all, do I think this technology will be possible at some point? Yeah, listen, they can reattach hands. Okay. They can reattach. They reattach uh, that one guy's junk. Yeah, they can re. Well, that was years ago. They reattached John Wayne Bobbitt's unit. Yeah, but that's been done in the past. Yeah, that was the early stages of reattaching yeah. stuff. But at this point, they're saying that they should be able to transplant a head. Okay, so if you put my head on like Adele's body, yeah. would I be Adele or would I be a me? Or a combination of the no, two. No, it's your brain. It's still, I know, it's but still remember, your brain. But we did a story yesterday. We did a story yesterday about how they're finding with transplants that if someone gets someone's liver, someone yeah. gets someone's heart, That's true. then they're taking on these personality aspects of the of the person who they, re- they received the organ from. So if I receive a whole body from Adele and then have my brain, I think I'm just like half and half. Right, well, I'm Roxdell. Roxdell. Let me ask <laughs> you, the MJ Morning Show listener, this question. Got some time here. If you could have your head put on somebody else's body, who would it be? What? That just- <laughs> Male or female? Whose awesome. body do you want your head on? Now, I don't think a, a guy would want their head put on a female, but, well, maybe there's some maybe. out there. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah there's sure. some maybe. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's go to phones on I this. I just rub my boobs all day. All right, 800-990-1047. <laughs> Stop it, Froggy. 800-990-1047. So for the earlier crowd here, I uh, got a question for you with this kind of creepy story, which I don't think this is going to happen within eight years. But for whatever, this story took like a took off like a rocket yesterday. <sighs> Neuroscience and biomedical engineering startup BrainBridge, that's the name of the company. They must have done some kind of big press release or, or they hired a PR company to get the story out there because this, I saw this again like in five different places yesterday. The name of the company is called BrainBridge and... They had a, an eight-minute-long video that got released as well. It's a computer-generated imagery, a CGI demo. Cool. And it shows the robotic system simultaneously removing the heads of the donor and the recipient body and then swapping them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You just, you just said something very important. What? The donor and the recipient body. So you're saying that the... Who's al- who's alive in this situation? They're both alive. You're just, you're, well, then, you're swapping heads. You're swapping. How do you yeah. do that? You're swapping. How do you I thought head someone. They're yeah, just, I thought it'd be like if somebody died. Yeah, Let's say yeah somebody me died too. Of a, of a head injury, but their body is fine. Right. Well, and then you have Hank over right. here who can't walk. I would <laughs> imagine. I would imagine that that is clearly an option as well. To if you have somebody that died and the body's in good shape, that you can take your head and put it on that body. If you're looking for like, it, let's say you've got a, I wonder if this is a whole new cottage industry. It's like uh, you request the body type that you want, and if somebody happens to check out and, you know, they the body's in good shape, and they've got this whole eight-minute video where they have, like, these mechanical arms and all kinds of ro- medical robotics to take in the one head off. And, you know, anyway, anyway look, look at the phones. The phones are, give me the phone screener. All right, j- Who's quite, the most famous midget? All right. <laughs> the guy from Game of Thrones? Yeah, I want his body. An elf? No, Vern Troyer from Austin Powers. Oh, oh no, no, yeah, the, yeah, the, the guy from Peter... Dinklage. Peter, yeah, Dunklage, yeah he's, he's, a, he's a very famous dude. Uh, you know, I've seen him walking around. 
in uh, the West Village in New York. That's where he lives. Yeah, he tends to stick out. Yeah, I, I, I've seen him. All right, let's go to phones on this quickly. So, listen, uh, do I think this is imminent? Do I think that this company really is going to be transplanting heads in eight years? I don't see I, how they could behead someone and keep them alive. Uh, anyway. Uh, what's happening? My question is, on a hypothetical level, whose body would you like your head put on? Assuming that this technology is able to be done, who would you like to swap bodies with? All right, let me grab John. This is the weirdest phone topic it, we've it, ever it, done. It is. it is. It's strange. It's like but, face off the movie. But listen, but you have no idea what's going to happen when you listen to the MJ Morning Show. All right, John in Newport Ritchie. John, assuming the technology is viable. That's the word I was just searching for. Assuming the technology is viable, Whose body would you like your head put on, John? Louis Anderson. Yes. <laughs> How did I know you'd say me? John. John. <laughs> It'd be like a little pea sitting on a watermelon. <laughs> uh, you're a funny guy there, John. Thanks for the support. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you, John. Thanks for the joke setup, John. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, Mia is in Bradenton. Mia, whose body would you want your head put on? Mia, hello, Mia. Oh yeah, um, one of Taylor Swift's friends because I want to be besties with Taylor Swift. That's the stupidest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. <laughs> what? what, 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 what? <laughs> Wait, Mia, but yeah. it, you would want your head put on the body of one of Taylor Swift's friends, but if your head was put on their body, Taylor wouldn't recognize the friend because it would be your head. So that doesn't really work. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, Mia, how old are you? I'm 11. Oh, well, listen, oh my gosh. I, listen I, thank you for the creativity, but did you run that by your mom or dad driving you to school right oh, now? Will you stop? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Mia, you'd actually have to swap souls with the person, yeah. which is a whole to- totally different technology. Yeah. Lester, you're getting a little deep. Well, if, if you're an 11-year-old. Me, I'm just telling her. I'm breaking the truth to her. <laughs> she watches Bluey, dude. Swap uh, souls. <laughs> Mia, thanks for the call. Thanks for listening. You're welcome. All right, have a great Thursday. Todd is in Clearwater. Todd's going to say he wants to swap bodies with me, Todd. Oh, no. Uh, MJ. Uh, hello. Uh, t- no, t- I want you I want you still on the radio. I don't want to be swapping with you. All right, all right, all right, t- all right. Todd, 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 Todd. Who, whose body do you want your head on? Bruce Lee. Oh wow! Hey, oh wow! That's uh, Todd. Are you aware of the current condition of yeah, Mr. Lee's body? Yeah, Bruce Lee's not in good shape right now. But he has a killer one-inch punch. Uh, I bet they they probably embalmed him, or maybe I don't, I don't know. I, don't know <laughs> no, I, I think that both parties have to be alive for this technology to work. It's, or or, or yeah. recently died. It, it's not like a reanimation kind of deal. But I, I I see what you're looking. You're looking for a Bruce Lee type body. Yeah. That'll work. Nice. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. All right, thanks, Todd. Isn't Appreciate there a baseball player re- that's dead and they s- put his body or his head on ice? No, no, no. Yeah, it, Ted it, that was Ted yeah. Williams. And they put it on uh, a tuna can uh, in the uh, freezer? Uh, no, uh, <laughs> allegedly they cryogenically froze baseball all-star Ted Williams' head. Put his head on my body. Can you, uh, Fester, look that up? Ask the Googles. Why did I say it's on a tuna can? I remember that. For I, I, I have no idea. I never think heard. it was. Never, <laughs> why, first of all, why would you have a tuna can in the fridge? I, <laughs> I, think, I think there was <laughs> something like somebody saw it and it, for it to be, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's new uh, haagen tuna chunk ice cream. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Yeah, in, in, the free, in your grocer's freezer. All right. Hey, Fester, look up. Where is Ted Williams' head right now? Uh, look, it's, look. it's not with his body. He and, was decapitated by surgeons I, after his death. Yeah, I, I realize Ow. that, but where is Ted Williams' frozen head? Look, look it up. up. Look All right, up. quickly, Stephen. Stephen, whose body would you like your head put on? Anyone besides my own. Oh, <laughs> all right. That's a long way to go, Stephen. Uh, Stephen, so you're telling us you're not very happy with your body. Is that correct? Well, if you talk about waking up every morning and um, a lot of pain, I'll take anyone else's body right now. Uh, how old yeah. are you, Stephen? 32. I was hit by a bus about six years ago. Son oh. of a... You were... Oh, my God. You were hit by a bus? Yes, I was walking across the street, and I got nailed. Uh. What kind of bus? Where was this? Uh, in um, Lakeland, Florida. 
in Lakeland? Yeah. And what kind of bus? Was it a school bus or was it a transit bus? What kind of bus plowed into you? Was it a, a migrant farm worker bus? What, what kind of bus? It was a city bus. My God. And was it your fault or was it the bus driver's fault? Bus driver's fault. I was uh, walking across the street and she wasn't looking. Oh, my God. And did you have a a case against the city of Lakeland? Oh, I did. All right. Did you recover? Did you have a settlement for getting hit by a city bus where you claim it was the driver's fault? Uh, I did. All right. Is it? Was it a good settlement? Was it a good number? I mean, it was good for me. All right. Okay. Uh, now, did you have a lawyer or did you have uh, your cousin Jerry do it? I had uh, the Brooks Law Group. All right. So uh, ho- hopefully uh, you were, I was going to say, if you didn't have an attorney on this deal, I was going to hook you up with the Kemp Law Group, you know, because accident or fall or Hit by a bus, you call Kemp Law. Uh, listen, I, I, hey, Stephen, I'm sorry about your pain. I hope you get better, okay? Yeah. Uh, let me grab one more. John is in Largo. John, if you could take your head and put it on someone else's body, who it would be? John Holmes. All right, that's the segment. <laughs> that's all right, this segment ends that's right now. That's old school. Right, this, going down this, right, this segment Again. ends right now. This, uh, this, well, this. I'm just very happy that there yeah. were no guys who called in and said, you know, maybe they wanted a much larger head or maybe they just wanted a little head. Uh, Did you not hear the last uh, guy? Uh, do you know who John Holmes was? No. Look it up. And I wanted something larger, okay? Oh, yeah, we got, we, Roxanne, yeah, we, we got, we got you. To, we, we got you, John. Roxanne's thank you, thank uh, you, John. Yeah, breaking news. Yeah, hang on a minute. Roxanne, you have no idea who... I, I don't know what that means. Yeah, you don't know who John Holmes was? No. It's a, it's a guy. All right, yeah. Yes. Look, at, look in the blue, the Ted Williams frozen oh. head story. Uh, there was a tuna can attached to it. All right, hold on. I, get to, I don't want to get to it. <laughs> I'll, I'll get to this when we get to it. Okay. <laughs> hold, what? I'm telling you. What? What? 